Hello again folks, thanks for joining Cross Tour Tony and this latest video. In this video I want to show you where I've put my action cams, how I've set up the uh, helmet cam and the microphone system, picking up the sound and uh, well let's get into it now and have a look. So I'm going to take the camera around, obviously the one I'm using here this one will be placed on the helmet. I have a second Sony down here fixed onto the side of the radiator guard so we get a nice shot of the forks working and a low down shot. This will be powered either by the battery or by an auxiliary cable going back down through there like this through the hole and then I've got uh, constant power for hours let's just try and tuck that down there yeah so this is only just showing you guys where I'm going to fit it so where are you it'll come around here and we'll be plugged in like this giving us constant power and I've got five hours filming on the battery there. If I only just do little snippets then I might just use only the battery. Now this uh, action cam, the Sony uh, AS100, was my first one and it comes of course with a remote control which I have placed on the rear some plastic type velcro from 3M very solid I can make I made this uh, small bracket stuck one on there and one on here and we push the two together if you probably can't see they're like little mushroom shapes each little one is like mushrooms and they and they lock in so we put that on there like this Make sure it there clips on and as you can see I've got a little bit of fishing wire and a safety clip in case it falls off but that's never going anywhere. For the action cam that's going on the helmet, oh I forgot to say, this remote, I just hit this button and it will start filming. Okay so hit the record button and the little camera down here will start to record. Now then the one I'm using as I said before this one which is going to go on the helmet and do all the main filming this is my number one camera now it's the uh, FDR or FXR 3000. This is going on huh, this contraption here made up with Sony and GoPro pieces. Again if we look carefully there I've stuck some of these plastic velcros on the back of the GoPro 3D suction pad whatever you want to call it and there are some on the helmet now this is very strong I can assure you I can pick the whole helmet up and shake it and it does not come off so that's where this will just get screwed onto there you can regulate it in out up and down and uh, whoops, maybe we saw or we didn't see inside the helmet. I'll try and get a, a look in here somehow. Excuse me, right tucked away, right inside there is the small, tucked away right inside there is the small uh, Sony uh, lapel mic, as they call it. And here's its feed. And this will be just plugged into the back of the camera and this will give me my hopefully windless sound. Okay now then I'll put this down on the floor because carefully I know a lot of you guys won't put a helmet on the floor so um, I haven't been out in the 
the bike with this old Covid lockdown thing for a long time. And at Christmas my children brought me a GV tank bag which had, as we can see in here, oh, the magnet fixations, but it also came with four straps. Now guys, let me just get this put away. On the Cross Tourer, there's not many places where you can fit those straps. So I've come up with a good idea. Now then, let me show you this. You just have to lift off the seat for this for a moment. That's duly unlocked. On the tank case, I've adapted some clips that I found lying around in the wife's sewing bag. She doesn't know yet. <laughs> and I have these here. One there, one there. When I'm not using the tank bag, these are nicely stowed away. There's no metal parts, so there's no danger of shorting on the battery. So let's try and do this. Um, how can I do this? Oh, right. So on the front, let's just turn the bar a bit. The same idea. Taken out the uh, screw there, pierced the hole in the uh, fabric strap put it back in and this will hook onto the front straps. I found with the, uh, the, the metal tank magnets I wasn't happy and I was worried it was going to fall off. So this is why I've come up with this system to strap it all down. So why do I need this tank bag now? Well with so much electronic equipment or cameras and whatever and telephones I'm now going to store everything inside the tank bag. Now inside my tank bag at the moment it's empty. Um, I've got a mini tripod that I can just screw any of my cameras on if I want to do any still shooting. I'm probably going to use that in a moment to show you how I, I fit the tank bag on. Anyway I've just purchased this little thing here. It's from Orico and it has five USB outlets. Fine, so I can now put our telephones, our headsets and have them charging on the run so that uh, we're never without a battery charger. Obviously you have to check out how much your alternator pumps out and if it's capable. I'm sorry about this guys, let me just put this camera away somewhere. So I'm just going to put this uh, Orico back in there with my five chargers and then I'd just like to show you it has a cigarette lighter end which will plug in here. I'm going to change this and put a USB onto it. Uh, made a little hole in the bottom which I need to make waterproof before we go on big rides. So for now I'm tucking it in there. Okay, so just let me show you now how this fits with my system. Quick clip there. Literally takes less than a minute with four clips. One there, one there, tank bag is on, and there we go. So now my tank bag with four clips, never going to come off, never going to come off. So later on when this is wired up correctly, this cable will be connected inside here to the multi USB and will come up just in front of my chest and will power this camera constantly so that the battery whenever I stop and do a walk around with the camera the battery still got loads of charge this will keep the, the camera running all the time anyway that's that 
that's that. Oh yes, and in here I will have the iPhone which is connected to the camera and I will be able to turn the camera on and off with this and with the two cameras up and running ready I hit the record button there and on the telephone and they will both start to record within a half a second of each other and then I synchronize that on the computer in the post treatment um, what else can I say guys I think that's about it this is how I've set it all up for these uh, cross Toratoni videos I hope some of you have got a bit of uh, interest or some ideas from it that maybe would help you just give it a little tug there a little tug there that's going nowhere thankfully so cable in there keep the telephone charged that's on camera down the bottom oh and I've got a little space here it's not on at the moment I've got an old uh, GoPro somebody gave me a long time ago that I'll put there and just do a couple of face shots and back back end views as we're riding along but this is uh all for later on at the moment it's like that so there we go Sony and GoPro melange a mix sorry a melange that's French for mix and Sony microphone inside well behind the the cheek padding so that it cuts out all the wind noise and it's got a dead cat a wind uh, sock over it if you want to call it a wind sock so that, 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 what else can I say? There's nothing else to say. I think, uh, I think that's all there is to say, guys. Um, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you like a film, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, give it a share. If you don't like the film, well, you're, you're quite entitled to. I've had a few uh, comments, people don't like my videos. Well, that's me. Uh, if you don't like it, don't come back. Anyway. I'm not earning any money over of these films. It's just my pleasure to do it and to share my fun with you guys. And of course, most of you have got uh, cross tourists. That's why you're watching this chin. Don't forget, fellas, the red ones are the fastest. <laughs> See you on the next video. I'm going to go for a ride now and test all this out. See you later, fellas. Bye-bye.